The biggest game release in the last 10 years comes out tomorrow, but there is a significant feature missing from the PlayStation 5 version of the game. What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Thank you for stopping by. If you're new here and you enjoyed what you see throughout this video, please consider subscribing to help this channel grow. I really appreciate the support to help grow this community. But for now, let's jump into this. So Cyberpunk 2077 is finally releasing tomorrow, December 10th. It's been a pretty rocky road from when it first got announced to now when it is releasing with all of the delays and everything and with the recent reviews in the past couple of days basically a lot of reviews are coming out and saying that the game is very buggy but this is pre the day one patch that is apparently fixing a lot of these issues and there's been a lot of controversy with the reviews with people giving it a perfect score but saying that it's buggy so how can it have a perfect score if there's bugs in it people who are not experiencing the entire game and giving it a lower score stuff like that there's a lot of stuff going on around the reviews of cyberpunk 2077 it's a game that is very very popular tons of people are going to be picking it up and it's one of the most anticipated games that i can think of that i can remember in recent memory now when it comes to the different versions between the pc and the console versions of the game the biggest thing about a lot of the reviews is that a lot of people hadn't played the console version yet no reviewers got a console version it was all on the pc some console versions were actually getting sent out to people before the game was supposed to be released and then cyberpunk or cdpr was going out and trying to get those videos taken down because they didn't want anything spoiled they don't want people knowing what's going to happen in the game before they actually play it i mean i don't know how i feel on that entire issue in general i just know that for a lot of people this is a game they've been waiting so long they've been sitting in the dark they don't want to hear anything about it so it would really suck if somebody got it spoiled because of videos that came out and stuff like that but there is a day one patch and this day one patch apparently fixes a lot of the bugs that reviewers were talking about and with the console versions it will have various improvements to stability various performance improvements and critical progression to gameplay issues will be addressed now i haven't played the console version yet i am getting cyberpunk but i don't know if i'm going to jump into it right away i want to make sure that when i do play through it it's the best experience possible there are no bugs and there's also a next generation version of the game coming out later down the road so i may wait for that i'm not sure i just have so much stuff to play right now and so little time to dig into these really big deep rpgs so i may wait a bit but if you are playing the console version i would love to know what your experience is like on day one and if it improves after a patch or anything like that now moving on here there's a really interesting differentiation between the ps5 and the xbox series x version so in the xbox series x version you're going to be able to choose between resolution obviously prioritizing the visual fidelity of the game and performance mode obviously prioritizing the frame rates per second of the game but this will not be available for some reason on the playstation 5. now this article is saying that this is not actually an exception to the rule because it also notes that a number of other games including star wars squadrons call of duty warzone and rocket league had recently received performance updates on the xbox series x but not the ps5 and they're attributing this to the better backwards compatibility features on the xbox series x this here saying enabling 120 hertz mode on xbox series x and s is a minor patch but enabling it on the ps5 requires a full native port due to how backwards compatibility is implemented on the console now this makes a lot of sense because cyberpunk for the ps5 and for the xbox series x right now will be the last generation version it's not going to be the upgraded next generation version and as we know with the xbox series x they have really good compatibility with backwards compatibility and it seems like the compatibility is not as good with the playstation 5 as there's been a lot of issues with it so that's probably the reason why there's a differentiation between the playstation 5 and the xbox series x version that's pretty interesting because it is using the backwards compatibility mode on the series x and the playstation 5 and obviously the series x is using the one x version of cyberpunk and the one x is more powerful than the ps4 pro and it is better for multi-platform games as we saw between those two consoles so that's why you're going to get that resolution mode you're going to get that performance mode on the series x and you're not going to get that on the ps5 but we'll have to wait and see what the next gen upgrades do and how that performs on both the playstation 5 and the xbox series x anyways guys that's it for me let me know what you think about this in the comments below are you getting this game on the ps5 are you disappointed that there isn't the performance and resolution mode available are you getting on the series x or are you playing it on pc i would love to know where you're playing this game and if you are playing it or if you've already kind of checked it out because i know i believe right now people are already playing it it's already be able to get downloaded change your time zone or something in xbox let me know what you think about it let me know if it's buggy let me know what the patch has done it's smooth i would love to hear all your thoughts about cyberpunk 2077 in the comments below thank you guys all for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new here and you enjoyed what you see throughout this video hit maybe consider subscribing to help this channel grow i would really appreciate the support helping grow this community and having just great conversation again thank you for all your support and i'll catch you in the next video